This installment of the Look Back series begins our discussion of the Civil War in St. Louis and Missouri. St. Louis was a critical spot on the map in 1861, in the weeks before the war actually began. The city had been southern in, in, in its inclinations in the days before the Civil War, but the arrival of the German immigrants and Yankee businessmen and the increased importance of railroads and Northeast finance tipped the balance pretty clearly to the Union in St. Louis, even though there was a lot of tension with a lot of important wealthy people who were fond of the South. Abraham Lincoln carried St. Louis in the November 1860 election by about, with about 40% of the vote among the four candidates, almost exactly his national percentage. Frank Blair, a congressman here, a family friend of Lincoln, had um, been his point man here. Captain Nathaniel Lyon for the Union Army was in charge of the arsenal down on, where else, Arsenal Street. Governor Claiborne Jackson was from Little Dixie. He was a planter with Southern pretensions, and he very much wanted the arsenal for the South and Missouri as well. He mustered the militia on what is now St. Louis U's East Campus, and Lyon and his troops marched out on May 10, got the militia to surrender without firing a shot, but as they were lining up the soldier, the their captives on Olive Street, right near Compton. Shooting broke out and 35 people died, soldiers and civilians. There was a smaller um, riot downtown the next day. The Union did clearly hold the city, but tension remained throughout the war.